Welcome friends, my name is Father Alan. This is a special edition of Sipping on the Sabbath. We're going to call Sipping on Christmas. Get yourself a Bible, a warm beverage. I got myself a double espresso with a shot of eggnog. Let's just see how all this goes. So I'm going to reflect using the readings for Christmas Eve Mass. And as I was going through them prayerfully earlier this week, what kept coming to mind was the reality of, well, reality, being real. It's all about being real because the readings indicate to us people in particular, people in general, but also you and me specifically. And it's about getting real because we are living in reality, real life, real experiences, real people, real circumstances. And we can apply these scriptures to our lives as we reflect upon the birth of Jesus. So first of all, we have in our readings today reference to a people in general. And this is the first reading from Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light on them light has shone. Now maybe that's a nice thing to think about, you know, reflect about. It's like them, eh? people like over there, those people who were in darkness have seen a great light. But we can make this a little bit more particular to ourselves. And we have in our gospel today the reference to Caesar, Quirinius, Joseph, Mary, and shepherds. These are real people living real lives, real circumstances, real effects, real, real time. Jesus, the message here is that Jesus enters into reality. He enters into real world, real circumstances, real people, real places, real effects, real consequences. We don't serve a God, again, who is like so far off, the story of Christmas is not some nice cute little thing that happened 2,000 years ago. Simply, it is still happening now. Jesus wants to be born again into your life and in mine. And we are particular people living in a particular reality. And the Lord enters into that reality. The reality of you and me, like others in history, going about our daily lives, ordinary routines, commitments, responsibilities, chores, etc., and all we need to do, like the people at the time of the birth of Jesus, was simply to stop and to look and to see. But they were just so busy, so distracted going about their lives. And I guess that's the danger in your life and in mine as well, that we can miss the opportunity the Lord affords us in this particular time, in the reality of our life, to encounter him. And that brings us to the third point that Jesus is born in specific time to specific people. Going back again to the first reading that we have from the prophet Isaiah, a child has been born for us, a son given to us. And we can make this personal. A savior has been born for me. Again, the Lord is not far off, not distant, uninvolved, we're not simply celebrating a singular event that only happened 2,000 years ago. The Lord still desires to be born anew in our circumstances and our reality today. And it is about becoming real with the Lord. Jesus got real. And we too can get real with the Lord Jesus. And so how is that possible? Well, first of all, we can get real with Jesus by welcoming him into the inn of our life. There was no room for Jesus at the inn. The innkeeper was so busy, so preoccupied, everybody who was associated with Bethlehem had to go there for the census. The town was overrun. People were preoccupied, concerned, worried. You know, can we identify with that in our own particular circumstances today? So I want to welcome Jesus into the inn of my life. Real time, real person, real circumstance, I can make contact with Jesus who is indeed real. And I can also, coupled with that, make a decision when I visit the creche, and I pray that you're able to get to Mass 
either on Christmas or sometime during the Christmas season, depending on your local circumstances. But maybe even if you have a nativity scene, as I do here today, a nativity scene in your own home, to kneel before it, come before it with open arms, open heart, along with the, the smelly animals, the, the simple uh, shepherds again, and get close to Jesus. You'll notice that in this nativity set, as I'm sure in your own, that the arms of Jesus are open. Open in welcome, open in surrender, open in love. Get real with Jesus because he gets real with us. He has entered into the real circumstances of our life. The good, the bad, the unfortunate. He's there with us in all of it. And I want to welcome Jesus into it as he welcomes me into his life. Make it personal. So I want to end today by giving you a special blessing for Christmas. Not too sure if this whole espresso eggnog thing is going, to, is going to catch on. But anyway, I'm going to get real, right? I want to give you a special a blessing for Christmas. This is the threefold blessing that the priest will bestow upon you at the Mass of Christmas. And so I'm going to give it to you today. Normally, I'd say bow down for the blessing. If you want to bow down, go right ahead and bow down. But you're probably just sitting there having a coffee. <laughs> so just put your coffee down for a second there and receive this blessing. We're going to get real. It's about getting real, right? Get real. <laughs> okay. May the God of infinite goodness, who by the incarnation of his Son has driven darkness from the world, and by that glorious birth has illumined this most holy night or Christmas day, drive far from you the darkness of vice and illumine your hearts with the light of virtue. Amen. May God, who will that the great joy of his son's saving birth be announced to shepherds by the angel, fill your minds with the gladness he gives and make you heralds of his gospel. Amen. And may God, who by the incarnation brought together the earthly and heavenly realm, fill you with the gift of his peace and favor and make you shares with the church in heaven. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. God bless you. Merry Christmas. Remember, when we're powerless, that's when we're strong. And victory is indeed gained through surrender. Bye-bye.